picked up a few items today. A little awesomeness, some big cords. I don't tear these down for the motors. I've seen some people do them here recently, like Roadhog 1987. I've seen him tear them things down and get little copper motors out of them. Um, I cut the cords, throw them in the trailer. I've got too much big stuff right here in my yard to worry about that little motor that I'm going to get out of that thing. So I've decided I'm not doing that motor. I will cut the cord. But today, I just went and picked up a dryer. Goodness here. And no, the dryer doesn't work. So today, this is the day I'm going to take it apart. Today is the day. Let's see what kind of goodness we got on this thing. Today is the day, everybody. Let's get this thing apart. Hopefully, get a little bit more better camera angle. I have switched up just a little bit. I switched it up to something that I could actually see while it's recording instead of guessing what I'm recording. Had a few complaints about not being able to see not complaints, just saying, hey, wish I could see it better. First thing I do always, every screw that I can find, get rid of it. Get rid of them all. Throw them right in my trailer instead of on the ground. Although I do have a magnet that I keep telling you guys about. Oh, I just bought a new pair of cutters. Let me get them. I brought all this to my scrap yard yesterday. And I brought some extension cords. So all the wires off my dryers, these wires, and my extension cords, I had them in two different buckets because in my mind they were different. But the guy told me if it's an extension cord or if it bends like this all right if you can bend it like that bend it like that it's light duty wire and all they'll give me is dollar five per pound scrap later i'm gonna take the this will be a later video where i'll take all the brass out of them pieces got a piece of plastic all right now what do we got Screws are out of the back for the most part. Now it's time to go ahead and get our get our nice chunky cord off of here. Nice chunky cord too. The good source of brass and copper. Brass and copper. Good. Look at that nice brass. Brass. Copper. More brass. 
Gotta love it. I brought in some of them the other day. Matter of fact, just the other day. started making videos this is what I used I was terrible at it every time I'd bend over you'd see that every time I'd bend over you see that so that wasn't good so I went to my head mount the head mount was okay okay but not great Take videos from both. What do you think about that? I think that's probably my my best bet. Probably take just a little bit longer to make videos, but probably in the long run, it's going to be absolutely worth it. something else to hold the top on I just couldn't figure out what it was I was like man this thing is a little bit tight a little bit tight there we go scrap metal a couple ladders I gotta get out of there I did, I did estimates today for roofing I was busy for most of the morning. I actually picked up a couple good jobs. Of course, I subcontract out my work now. I don't do it myself. It makes it a little bit easier on me being 60 years old. I'm not good at doing much roofing anymore. Usually, these screws are here or back here. So this time, they're actually right here on the top, which makes that super easy. Because you have to get the front drop down, and that's all garbage. Throw it in the tank. Some people sell them bins. Some people sell them on this thing. And I actually turned in some motors the other day. Off my clips. Because I want to have all them. For the most part, they are brass. You just take that, pry up on it, and it'll pop right out. You don't have to use a hammer or anything fancy. Just grab it, twist it. To be honest with you, a uh, pair of cutters is actually easier. I'm just trying to uh, get my harness off in one piece. That's all I'm trying to do here. Let's pop that harness off all in one piece. I can throw it in my scrap later box. Because I'm just trying to get this dryer apart. You can probably see that clip right there. So you just take and hook on that little piece right there and turn it just like that and it pops right off one clip generally there's a clip in the back if it's not it could be that it's a quarter driver pop that off if you can get to both of them get that back there and get that screw out loosens that motor right up you do have two screws on the other side of that plastic slide around back it's not going to come out until you persuade it for me i think what is this a 26 ounce yeah, swing hammer there you go a couple swings with the s swing 
you got your motor all right so you're going to look at this thing first thing dryer motor assembly made in mexico the made in mexico part might might tell you right off the bat but this is what's going to really tell you when you first look at this stuff you're like oh that's yellow it's kind of yellow and when you look at this it's kind of orangey reddish orange like blood even though it's that color without looking at it i knew that it was all aluminum i knew it i did not even have to cut it but yeah anytime you cut and you see white that's aluminum you know, even though the copper actually looks a little more excuse me yellow and not blood orange like copper it doesn't really matter because this is aluminum okay buddy all right i made a video the other day i said what is how do you tell um the difference between an aluminum motor aluminum windings from copper windings well <coughs> my answer was some stripes right there but and this i got this information from another video so i'm just trying to correct that i found out that that's not true hope you can see the white that means aluminum so i apologize for the video that i made i went by another one and took it for word word not so i also thought well this thing seems to have two different color aluminum i mean uh copper windings on it one is kind of yellowish and you know the other one is the blood red and i said well maybe the blood red one will be copper i was wrong so then i thought to myself all right so if that's not copper and this isn't copper maybe it's the color that i was looking at and the color is what tells you whether it's copper or not as you can see this is purple this one is green so you got purple and you got green and then you got nothing i've already cut that one i've cut the yellow side of this one and i've cut the orange side of this one and what did i come up with let me show you aluminum no orange goodness in there very disappointed so the video that i watched and plus it's so easy to cut the video that i watched was wrong and actually somebody shared that video with me so i'm going to have to go back to them and show them my video so that's what my videos is for today on the motors all right getting back to my dryer i got the motor out i've got most of everything cut off here like i said these things these things can be sometimes easier if you cut them cut them right off Let's see if we can get this big old harness over here and into my uh micro scrapping bucket because that's where it's going all right yes now i got the whole harness so i got the motor aluminum windings aluminum windings i got the wiring harness a dollar five cents a pound take all your ends off put them in your brass pile 105 a pound i also got 105 a pound for my extension cords so you can put all of these and your extension cords together according to my yard i said anytime you have a wire that you can bend like that it's considered light duty wire um i'm surprised they don't give me more for this being it doesn't have the big casing on it um, but i will say some of these don't have a lot of copper in them well some of them do so i was surprised at that yesterday um, this dryer didn't take much to come apart I'll say that but it appears i did miss a few screws somewhere or Oh, it's just a hinge. Huh, that's on the hinge right there. 
And that actually shouldn't be too awful hard to come around. Back to it a couple times, that huge ought to pop loose. Yeah, there it is. It's on a hinge, everybody. Which is fairly easy to come apart. Like I said, I'll pop that wire off right there. The rest of all that that's inside there, I'm not gonna mess with. All I'm gonna do is get up there and get my ladder out of the way and load that to the front. And that's how I break down a dryer. I mean, it literally can do it in approximately five minutes if I'm not trying to make a video. Just about five minutes, to be honest with you. So the motors, gosh, I can't even remember the price that I got for my motors yesterday. Motor, I turned in, all, I turned in some aluminum motors for motor weight because it's seriously not worth trying to take that aluminum out of that motor. There's no value in that. So... That's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get up there and get my ladder out of there. They gave me a few things up there, a toaster, something or another, I guess. Oh, yeah. Toaster. Give me a satellite receiver. I wish I'd have taken them screws out. So that thing lay down better, so I will. Let's get my ladder out of here. I don't need that anymore today. Put that back around back. It's been a long, hard day. All right, we do have a fan here. Back in my truck, I could probably go ahead and get the motor out of that right now. These things here, uh, I'm not a micro scrapper. So I'll cut the cords off and give them straight to Silver Scorpion, or Scrapping Scorpion, excuse me. I even got a box, I mean a remote control. I'll put these around for Scrapping with Scorpion. Scrapping Scorpion, uh oh, uh oh, shouldn't have did that. Let's just bring this right around to the back and get it out of the way. Around in the back. Scorpion, your pile's growing. Your pile is growing, my friend. Computer, it's all yours. Yeah, this is all you, my brother. 